Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's my lecture is about retina and its image formation. The islands form a real inverted image of the object on the retina. What happened in retina? Retina is a multi-layered sensory tissue that lines the back of eye. The light rays are focused directly onto the retina which contain millions of light receptors that capture light rays and convert them into electrical impulse which is called neural signal. This impulse travels along the optic nerve through the visual pathway to the brain. The brain processes the information and sends the image to the eye. Then we see the object. The functional components of retina which are arranged in layers from outside to inside these are pigmented layer, layers of rod and cones, outer nuclear layer, outer plexiform layer, inner nuclear layer, inner plexiform layer, ganglionic cell layer, layers of optic nerve fiber and then inner eliminating membrane. This is the figure, layers of retina. This distance is a thickness of several hundred micrometers. Visual acuity is decreased by this passes through such non-homogeneous tissue. However, in the central fovea region of the retina, the inside layer are pulled aside to decrease this loss of acuity. This figure taken from Guidon. Different neuronal cell types are as follows at first photoreceptors which transmit signal to outer plexiform layer where the synapse with bipolar cells and horizontal cell then horizontal cell which transmit signal horizontally to the outer plexiform layer to the bipolar cell then bipolar cell which transmit signal vertically into the inner plexiform layer where the synapse with ganglionic cell and amacrine cell Fourthly, amacrine cell which transmits signal in two directions, either directly from bipolar cells to ganglionic cells or horizontally within the inner plexiform layer from axon of bipolar cell to dendrites of ganglion cells or to the outer amacrine cell. Lastly, ganglionic cell which transmits output signal from the retina through optic nerve into the brain. A sixth type of cells is called inner interplexiform cells which transmit signal in retrograde direction from inner plexiform layer to outer plexiform layer. After light passes through the lens system of the eye then vitreous humor then it enter into retina from inside of the eye that is it passes first through the ganglionic cell then through the plexiform and in nuclear cell and finally reaches the layers of rod and cones which located on the outer edge of the retina pigmented layer of retina the black pigment melanin in the pigmented layer prevent light reflection throughout the globe of eyeball that is extremely important for clear vision which reduction the glare the pigmented layer also secrete large quantities of vitamin A which is extends back and forth through the cell membrane of outer segment of rods and cones. Vitamin A is important precursor of the photosensitive chemicals of the rods and cones. Production of extracellular matrix keeping the outer segment of photoreceptors straight and phagocytosis of the tip of the outer segment after their shedding off by the photoreceptors. Continual renewal of outer segment. This pigment performs the same functions of the eye as the black coloring inside the below of a camera. <coughs> Without it, light rays would be reflected in all directions within the eyeball and causes diffuse lighting of retina rather than normal contrast between dark and light spot required for formation of precious image. The importance of melanin in pigmented layer is well illustrated by its absence in albinos. Albinos are the people which 
who are hereditarily lacking of melanin pigment in all parts of their bodies so when albino enter a bright light room light that impinges on the retina is reflected in all direction inside the eyeball by unpigmented substance of retina and by underlying sclera so a single discrete spot of light that would normally excite only a few neuron cores is reflected everywhere and excited many receptors therefore the visual acuity in albinos is even the best optical correction is seldom better than 20 to 20 by 100 or 20 by 2 200 rather than normal is 20 to 20 value the eye convert energy in the visible spectrum into action potential in the optic nerve the wavelength of visible light ranges are approximately 397 to 723 nanometer Light rays are banded when they passes from a medium of one density into the medium of a different density except when they strike perpendicular to the interface. In the same manner that a glass lens can focus an image on a sheet of paper, the lens system of eye can focus an image on retina. This is the figure how they refract. The bending of light rays is called refraction. Is the mechanism that allow one to focus an accurate image onto the retina. The light rays striking the retina generate potential in rods and cones. Impulse initiated in the retina are conducted to the cerebral cortex where they produce sensation of vision. Here, the parallel light rays striking a biconvex lens are refracted to a point which is called principal focus behind the lens. The principal focus is on a line which is passing through the center of the curvature of the lens which is called principal axis. The distance between the lens and principal focus is called principal focal distance. In practical purpose, the light rays from an object that strike the lens is more than 6 meters or 20 feet away from considered to be parallel. The rays from an object closer to 6 meters are divergent and therefore brought to a focus rather back, to, back on the principal axis than the principal focus. Biconcave lens becomes causes the light rays to diverge. The process of refraction can be represented dramatically without introducing any appreciable error by drawing the rays of light as if all refraction occur at the anterior surface of the cornea. The connection of retinal receptor are such that from birth any inverted image on retina is viewed right sided up and projected to the visual field on the side opposite to the retinal area stimulated. This perception is present in infant and is innate. If retinal images are turned right side up by means of special lenses, the object viewed look as if they are upside down this is the figure in eye the lights actually refracted at the anterior surface of cornea and at the anterior and posterior surface of the lens the image is inverted and reversed with respect to the object mind perception object in the upside upright position despite the upside down orientation on retina because the brain is trained to consider an inverted image as normal. Process of vision requires three steps. First, light focus on retina and produce upside down image. Second, rod and cones 
convert image into nerve signal. Third, impulse are transmitted to the brain. Light rays are focused on retina because they are reflected, reflected by passing through the cornea among lens. This is called Stan law. If the object being viewed is new, near, eyes must converse on the object being viewed. Pupil must constrict, lens must change its curvature, which is called accommodation. Here form three images. First image formed by the action of light on photoreceptor is changes to the second image in bipolar cell, which is turned converted into third image in the ganglionic cell. In the formation of second image, signals is altered by horizontal cells and in the formation of third image is altered by amacrine cells. There is little change in the impulse pattern in lateral geniculate bodies. So third image reaches the occipital cortex. Similar to the eyes of other mammals, the human eyes non-image forming photosensitive ganglionic cells in the retina receives light signal which affect adjustment of the size of pupil, regulation, suppression of hormone melatonin and enter entrainment of the body clock. Vision depends on eye to use light to convert stored energy into nerve signal which travels along the optic nerve reaches the visual cortex where they interpreted it as sight. Here the receptor parser Rorsen codes conducting pathway involve optic nerve, optic chasma, optic tract, lateral geniculate body, lastly visual cortex in occipital Look around the calcarine fissure. Structure of visual analyzer, this component are, is involved. When either rod and cone are excited, signals are transmitted first through successive layers of neurons in retina, finally to the optic nerves and then cerebral cortex. Thank you for your patience hearing. <laughs>